I'm so busy. How are you? I'm so busy. What are you up to? I'm so busy. Are you guilty of saying all the time, I'm busy, I'm busy. Stop saying that you are busy. Don't make it your identity. Here's the thing. Why are you saying you're busy? Because you want to feel important? We are all busy and we all want to feel important. And trust me, I, I used to be guilty of this as well. Like I, I remember that so many people like, oh, you have time for this? Oh no, I'm too busy. Oh, how are you doing, Rachel? Oh, I'm so busy. It's just, I just kept saying that. But here's the thing. The problem is when being busy becomes part of your identity. Being busy should not be part of your identity because subconsciously you will look for more things to be busy. And it happens subconsciously, right? Because the more that you tell the language like, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, the more you look for things to be busy. And then at one point your life is out of control and you wonder, why is my life out of control, right? So, by the way, if you don't know me, I'm Rachel Smets. I quit my corporate a few years ago and I'm making videos every single Wednesday to motivate you, to inspire you, to reach your goals, which is exactly what this video is also about. It's not about being busy. The goal is not about being busy. The goal is to follow your dream. I make videos every Wednesday, so make sure you subscribe right below and that you hit the like button so that YouTube knows that more people have to watch this. And make sure you go to the description below where I have some free goodies for you, okay? But being busy, make sure you understand the following. The more you say that you are busy, the more you make it part of your identity. The goal is not to be busy, being busy, being doing what? The goal is to follow the path to reach your dream or your goal. And here's the thing, people are not burning out because they're doing too much of something. People are burning out because they're doing too little of what they really enjoy. So there's the action for you. Find out what is really important to you. What gives you joy? What is that clarity? Find that clarity because clarity leads to confidence and confidence leads to courage, okay? That's something aside, like, you know, confidence talks is what I love to talk about, but this is really about reaching your dream goal. So what is it that fulfills you? What is it that gives you joy? And be clear on that and do more of that. If you look at things are, okay, what is really important to do during your day? What gives you energy? What gives you joy? How can you move closer to, how can you move the needle closer to your goal and your dream? So instead of saying, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, try to change that and do more of what you love. And another tip is, Tell yourself you have time because sometimes, well, it happened to me as well. I'm really guilty and I see that with my clients as well. It's like, yeah, but I don't have time to do that. And I don't have, I don't have time to do what I love. And I don't have time to dig into to doing more of what I love, right? So here you are, maybe you're stuck in a, in a soul sucking nine to five job. I used to be in that space as well. And I wanted to grow my online business. And I'm like, oh, but I don't have time. And I'm so busy and I don't have time to do it. The more you have those words in your mind the less you will have time because you're telling yourself I don't have time I'm busy so your cells in your body are hearing that and they're like okay well I don't have time you know and so that you you just don't make subconsciously you're not making time because you're telling yourself over and over and over again I don't have time from now on shift that right now shift that and when you are noticing and you're aware of you telling yourself I don't have time you say immediately I have time. I have time. In the beginning, it's difficult, right? It takes practice because I remember when I first, like, I, I noticed myself catching myself saying, oh, I don't have time. And I'm like, oh, I have time. I'm like, no, I don't have time. You're like, it's weird, right? But then I kept telling myself, no, I have time. And like 10 times I would like in my mind go over like, I have time. I have time. Like I had a to-do list of several things and I'm like, I have time. I was, I was literally like, I have time. I'm going to finish this. Like I had videos to make. I had scripts to make. I had social media, to, you know, content to create. I had client calls and I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many things to do and I don't have time. And then I'm like, no, I have time. I have time. 
It's incredible. You have to try it before you believe me, but it works. Because in your subconscious mind, you're telling yourself, I have time, and you're just going through that list and you're finishing it. But when you say, I don't have time, you're telling yourself you don't have time. And literally what happens is that you're, 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 you're scary. Like it's scary. You're tense. There is this tension, this anxiety, and you're not getting things done. So from now on, pay attention to that language that you're telling yourself. I'm busy. I don't have time. Stop it. The moment you catch yourself, stop it, switch it around and say, I'm okay. I have time. I'm getting things done. I'm not busy, but I'm doing the things that I love. I'm doing more of what I love. I have time to do more of what I love. I have time to check off my to-do list. I have time to do more of what I love, right? So that is the action for you. Catch yourself. Stop making being busy your identity. Do more of what you love and move that needle closer to your goal and your dream. If you are still feeling stuck, make sure you check down below my free video training about getting unstuck. That will really help you. And if you want to talk to me, please, please, please talk to me. Please talk to me. I'm here for you. I'll put the link right below as well. And I'll see you again next week for the next video all about inspiration, motivation to help you find your passion. Do more of what you love. Feel fulfilled. Have a meaningful life because you don't want a life with regrets. You want a life without regrets. Start doing more of what you love and don't think it's out there and it's not there for you. If you take steps, make a right, make a good clear plan, take steps towards the life that you love, you will get it. A few years ago, I didn't believe that for myself, but I started taking tiny micro action steps and I got there and I'm living the life of my dream and so can you. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to make a plan for you. So drop your comments right below. I'm super excited to hear. Are you busy being busy? Stop it. Comment right below. I have time. I'm okay. I'm not so busy. Busy is not my identity. See you next week.